That's about as intelligent as dividing a swimming pool into a peeing and a non-peeing section. Boy, Mr. Shady. Uh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know what time it is. It's your boy, Yeshiri Shady, one and only. And guys, we are back with a German humor. Okay, so you know, lately I've been exploring German satires, German humor, a lot of German culture, but mainly the humors and the satires. So without saying too much, guys, today we're going to jump on more satires. Today we've got Vince Ebert. At the uh, millennium stage so that's in too much guys let's get this started and yes let's have some fun with this let's go now please welcome your feature presentation vince ebert's sexy science okay so more of the sexy science whoop, 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 whoop. good evening good evening welcome to the millennium stage at the kennedy center it's a big honor for me to be here. Thank you for this overwhelming applause. <laughs> Thank you for having me here and giving me the opportunity to do my stand-up comedy show. He's very, very German. <laughs> he really, really reminds me of my manager. But my manager's not very, very German. But, I mean, he's German, but not stereotypical. My name is Vince Ebert, and my accent gives it away. I'm German. Yay! Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm a German comedian and I know what you are thinking now. <laughs> German comedians are like English chefs or <laughs> sober Scotsmen. Okay, I've heard this one already. Texan Democrats, a contradiction in itself. Uh, and above all, I'm a certified physicist. Ooh. So, it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> because sir. Because we physicists actually have a very good sense of humor. Okay. First time I entered the lab of my university, I saw a sign saying, don't look directly into the laser beam with your remaining eye. Oh, yeah, 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 Giants. yeah. Yo, that's so funny. Do not look into the laser with your remaining eye. Why? Because as soon as I say, do not look, you look and then, oh. <laughs> By the way, did you know that Angela Merkel, our chancellor, she's a physicist as well? Mm. Ah, yeah. And some say I'm the second German physicist who works in the comedy business. Oh. And inspired by her style, her <laughs> show is called Sexy Science. And this is definitely not a contradiction because Science is in no way abstract or free of emotions. Science is about asking thrilling questions. Yes, sir. Why is the sky blue? Mm -hmm. Why is the night black? Why should we eat yellow snow? Huh? <laughs> eat yellow snow, I see. People often say to me, oh, you are like these nerdy guys from the Big Bang Theory. And just in case you don't know by now, these nerdy Big Bang guys are just actors. <laughs> Who would have thought? No, they just pretend to be scientists with all these boring cliches. What's the difference between an extroverted and an introverted physicist? When talking to you, the extroverted won't look at his shoes, he will look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. As a physicist, you have to deal with a lot of stereotypes. Okay. Did you watch the movie Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks? Huh? Yeah, beautiful movie. Right at the beginning, there's a very attractive female it. particle physicist who creates an amount of antimatter powerful enough to destroy a big city. Hmm. And from a scientific perspective, this is complete bullshit. <laughs> I've studied physics for six years, but I never met such an attractive female physicist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh for the next geez. hour, I would like to open the wonderful world of natural sciences to you. Okay, let's go. I've been doing this in Germany for almost 20 years, and I'm now doing it for the first time here in the US uh, in English. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. And, and the reason is obvious because the language of science is English. But it hasn't always been like this. 100 years ago, the language of science was German. Did you know that? 
Hmm. Back in the day, I actually had that. Every well-educated yeah. person talked about in the world time. had to learn German. And if we hadn't screwed up 80 years ago, <laughs> I, mean, whoa. I could perform here in front of you in Washington in my own language. And probably even in my own country. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 subtle there, subtle there, if you want the war. By the way, are there any Germans in the room? Oh, that many. I didn't expect that. It's going to be a serious evening. Other people from Europe? Italians? Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Ital French? French people here? Oh. One. One. <laughs> One. One. French. Brits? Are there Brits in the... Two. Okay. Brits? Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> I really appreciate it because we all know the British humor is the gold standard. <laughs> the British humor is the gold standard. I mean, British humor is funny. I'm not even going to lie. It's, it's very, sometimes it's a bit cold and dry, but and you have to think a lot, okay? For me, the best British comedian ever is Prince Philip. Ooh! Husband of the Queen. Ooh! Remem remember his great punchline when he stood in front of a building in Canada and said, I declare this thing open, whatever it is. Brilliant. <laughs> and he has a broad expertise in science as well. Once he instructed a 12 year old who wanted to go into space, forget it, little boy, you are way too fat to be an astronaut. <laughs> No British way. humor impossible to beat. No way, he didn't do that. What really? For the last couple of years, I, I did a few shows in Great My Britain, days. and the comedy shows in Great Britain are very similar to here. A very relaxed crowd, a lot of interaction mm -hmm. with the audience, uh, sometimes a little bit rude and a little bit rough. Okay. The guy on stage isn't good enough. The British Stunning. audience heckles him in a very constructive fashion. Okay. Piss off your bloody buster! <laughs> Piss off. In Germany, this could never happen. Because we don't have any hecklers in German comedy clubs. I mean, we don't even have comedy clubs. <laughs> uh, now, in our country, humor uh, is a very serious business. Okay. Going to a comedy club is like visiting a museum. And you don't stand in front of a painting and say, Oh, get off the wall, Picasso. In uh, Great Britain, it's completely different. Mm. Heckling is very popular. And recently, the Brits have taken heckling to a whole different level by voting leave. <laughs> Brexit is heckling at its best. Ah! Ah! I'm not sure if you're familiar ah. with uh, the situation this in guy. Europe. Yeah? But you know a region called Europe? Yeah, yeah? Okay, so. <laughs> the, the situation is a little bit complicated. The, the Brits have decided to, to leave the European Union. Uh, it's a big discussion in Europe. And in some way, I really can understand the Brexit vote. Because this, this great and noble idea of the European Union, peace, democracy, freedom, is completely spoiled with stupid rules and regulations and laws. That's the reason why we Germans like it so much. <laughs> because we love stupid rules. Ah, Germans are rules! In Germany, in our train stations, innocent smokers are forced to stand in small yellow squares painted on the floor in order to keep the non-smokers away from the poison. <laughs> That's about as intelligent as dividing a swimming pool into a peeing and a non-peeing section. <laughs> Oh my day, no. this is humor at its best. When I say humor at its best, bear jokes. Dividing a swimming pool, yeah, from the non peeing area and the peeing area. Too much jokes, yeah. But yeah, I think he's, he's also talked about this one too before one of his videos. If you tell a German finance office that you made your living as an illusionist, you have to deduct 7% VAT. If you work as a magician, 19%. <laughs> I 
I'm not kidding, and I try to find out why, so here's the explanation I got. Illusionists let virgins disappear on stage. And in Germany, this is an artistic act, so reduced tax, 7%. Magicians, on the other hand, saw virgins in half. And that's not art, it's a craft, 90%. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> No way! What? <laughs> it's a craft! No absolute way! Yo, 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 guys, if I had a part two, do let me know. And we should start, we should do a part two to finish the whole um, of his performance on the medium stage. But so far, guys, it's just entertaining. I definitely enjoyed it. His humor is so subtle, very clever. He's a very smart guy. You have to listen to everything he says here. He just arranged it in a way that it just flows, and I'm like, no, he didn't just say that. He didn't just say that. <laughs> Anyways, you appreciate the channel. Only guys, so let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Also, smash that subscribe, give me some love. It's gonna be a peace out. Boy, Mr. Shady. Uh. Oh.